everybody this is colloquial captain back again with another old game this one from 1997 and it is titled zork grand inquisitor and this is a very old game um obviously since from 1997 quite a long long time ago and um it is one of my more favorite games along with sanitarium this is one of the ones that i played as a child and of course this is one of the ones that uh drew me just because of the the grand overall story and everything. I didn't. You don't really have to play. There's there's quite a few games in the Zork anthology, but you can just play this one without having to really think about it. And it is uh, wonderful, and it's sort of kind of quirky, and it has a little bit of it has, it has quite a bit of humor. And uh, I will definitely enjoy playing this again since I haven't played it in quite a long time. So if you will uh, go with me, we're going to start a new game. Huzzah! Shunning. So says the Grand Inquisitor from atop Flathead Mesa, where the grateful masses long to welcome Inquisition troops to newly occupied Fort Pozo. The third dungeon master has accepted the Inquisitor's generous offer of a permanent vacation. Today, the dungeon master read a brief but impassioned statement in support of the transitional Inquisition government. Rumors that the dungeon master is leading a so-called magic resistance are entirely false. In other news, the standoff at the Enchanters Guild ended peacefully last week when the Enchanters were freed from themselves by carrying Inquisition troops. Concerned citizens everywhere search high and low for hidden scrolls and magic contraband, voluntarily purging themselves of the worst excesses of the magic revolution. And finally, at tomorrow's ceremony, the Grand Inquisitor is expected to announce a radical new mind-numbing technology that will implement his visionary One Point of Light program. Never forget who is the boss of you. Me! I am the boss of you. I am the boss of you. I am the boss of you. Alrighty, and oh geez, that's really fast. I'm gonna have to. Oh geez, damn it! Shut up. That wasn't five seconds. Here's Port Fuzzle, and there's Elsewhere. All right, I'm probably gonna need to uh, change some of the volume levels here for a second. So, uh... well, there are no volume controls. Um, I turned down my scroll speed here, so it won't be so ridiculously fast. See, that looks about normal. Well, welcome to Zork, and as you can see, this game takes on a mightily sardonic uh, overview All of... Are I'm just going to go over this way because there isn't any talking over here. But, um, but it takes an overly sardonic view of uh, the Nazi regime of sorts, and it, uh, it just enters a lot of humor, like that one point of light. You! I am the boss of you! I am the boss of you! Now, um, <laughs> I love this game, and it's, uh, it, it's, and it's absolutely silly humor, but, uh, I'm gonna give you a good old walkthrough of it. All right, now we're gonna go this way. Oh yeah, look at all these cameras. Who is the boss of you? I am the boss of you. Oh, that darn camera, get away from my face. Here's Phobos Electric, Restricted Access. Well, this is a point-and-click adventure game, as you can see already. Me, I am the boss of you. See, that's this, it, it did the sign from over there. Magic Inquisition. Port Fuzzles, an occupied Inquisition township. Magic has been exterminated. Strict curfew. Violators will be totemized. We'll figure out what totemized is later. 
Have a nice day. And it looks like uh, just about 190,000 people are totemized daily, so... Um, yeah, that's not good. Oop, I need to get back up there. I need to get the rope. Pick up that rope. And then here is our inventory up here. As you see, we have this vacuum as well. That's a vacuum. So, it looks like just about enough people are being totemized daily to uh, probably totemize the entirety of the U.S. in quite a few, few short span of weeks. So, we need to stop that, right? Because we're awesome and we do this. Now we need to go into the town. Oh my god, be quiet. See, like, even this is funny. I need to lower and you'll be totemized. Same as the rest. And then that's the spirit. Let's turn this sucker up until we can't hear shit. And so we're gonna take all this shit. Wait, what? Wait, what? No, you should be able to... Hear... There we go. Okay, so you have to, uh... Turn up that volume until you can't hear shit anymore. And so now we have rope, a uh, fish thing, and a beer. Now if we go over here... And we chuck this... Oh, we go over here. And we chuck this thing on there. And we pull this lever. God, plastic stuck around neck. I sense a long but not touching death scene. <laughs> Thank you, Rick, for that passing scissor fish. That mad fish wrangler can have the dock. I'm out of here. Wee! See, that's just silliness. And we get a lamp. Oh, yay. Lamp. Okay. Well, I guess we get a lamp. Well, not a lamp, but a lantern. That lantern will be used later. And oh, looky here. What are we doing now? We got all this stuff, and we got this thing. See, look, you see, it's even, it's even breaking the fourth wall, for Christ's sake. He says, save often. <laughs> save what, you say? Save the game, of course. Those are Grand Inquisitor dolls. That barrel is used a little bit later. What we can do is we can just kind of go around and search people's oh, houses. Implementers. It's one of those adventurers again. Go away. We don't need any. Please, no, Can't no. Let you in. Sorry. Guess you have to die. I'm not- oh, I'm gonna die? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm not an adventurer. I'm a... door salesman. Okay, now we're gonna be going down this way. So now we can't hear that shit anymore. Um, we already stole the beer. And I believe we go this way? No autographs! I don't do that anymore, now beat it, scram! Indiana Jones? The fuck? It's past curfew and I can't afford any trouble. Can't afford Jack. And I am Jack. <laughs> um. So, Jack? <laughs> we don't know him. We will in a second, though. Now maybe let's, talk, let's knock with the lamp. like that one I had with me when I killed that troll with my rusty knife in Great Underground Adventure 4. These things are hard to come by. Nowadays, all you get are flashlights, courtesy Frobaz Electric. Whoa! Get in here! Get in here! <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> ah, go ahead. I said a whole crate off the Inquisition. Well, I know a guy who knows a guy who I said a whole crate off the... And I paid him. Now, where's my wrench? Ah. Oh. Well, I guess we can take one. So we took one. Thank you for this cigar that lights itself. Yeah, looks like this lamp has seen some action. Got a lot of carbon scoring here. Let's see if we can't just take a little... It's making a spark like that. You smell Spence weed? Where am I? Nobody 
saw you come in with that lantern. Now, don't look at me like that. I'm not a real adventurer. Just played one on TV. Couldn't find my way out of a maze if you paid me. Well, maybe if you paid me a lot. Look, this thing is magic. Been a while, but I know it when I see it. Trust me, you don't want this lamp. Now scram! You bitch, give me back my lantern. He just kicked me out of his house. We go click, click. We can, we can knock on his door and he won't uh, give us Jack. Um, basically, what you need to do is go over here. And uh, there's a pile of hay there. We go over here. <laughs> Obviously, nobody gives a crap about these things. One Zorkmid OBO. I don't quite know what OBO means. Um, but it's not as much as it was before because nobody likes to buy them. Well, let's light this sucker on fire. fire Whoops! Fire! <laughs> what? Fire? We're gonna go inside the barrel. Who did that? Who set that thing on fire? You were just supposed to smoke it. <laughs> Arrest the vandal! The oh, fattest the cop ever. Set up. Go ahead and read him his rights. You have no rights. Hey, you're Anthurio Jack. I'm a really big fan of yours. Remember that one time when you killed that thief who stole all your stuff? Sure, pal, whatever you say. That was first rate, bloody good. I smite him. Hey! Oh, I, I believe Smith is. Smithation would be appropriate at this juncture. Go right ahead. Oh, I get to smite hey, hey, Anthurio hey, hey, Jack. All the guys at headquarters aren't going to believe this. <laughs> Yay! And now we get away from our hiding spot. Hey, look at this. Only you can prevent Fuzzle Fuzzle fires. I'm very Fuzzle Fireman. There you go, Jack. So he was just arrested for doing his job. Hmm. <laughs> ugly ass T-shirt. Yeah. So now we can go inside his house because we got him arrested. We're terrible people. You can look around his little junk cluttered hell hole here. Look at this. Deck 9. Deck 9. This is a featureless corridor similar to every other corridor on the ship. It curves away to starboard and the gangway leads up. The point, the port is the entrance to one of the ship's primary escape pods. The pod bulkhead is cleared. So, he's what ja what Anthea Jack is, is he's a story writer, and that is it. <laughs> he, he is the worst person to be fighting fires. And yay, hey, we got a friend. Me out of that crate. Don't think I could have taken another spawning season. And thanks for getting rid of that Jack guy, too. We got lots to talk about, but the introductions are going to have to wait. Get me out of this place before anyone finds me. Yay. Now, I am I, I feel terrible because I don't remember this any of these people's names, any of the actors' names, or this guy's um, voice actor. I will next time, I promise. <laughs> I will. Pr I promise I will have this, all these people's names down because this voice actor has to be one of the best voice actors I've ever heard in a game. He is absolutely stunning. And uh, I really hope you enjoy him as much as I have always enjoyed his voice acting. But since we got this sucker, now we can go this way. And look, and uh, the thing about this tunnel is that it's scary as hell. No, I'm going to save, and I'm going to show you what happens if you go down there. Oh, wait, no, I can't do that because I just got the lamp. Oh, well, but if you go down there and uh, without the lamp, you will be eaten by a Gru. And it is one of the scariest things in my entire childhood that I have had to ever deal with. <laughs> He's just like, all you do is you climb down, it is pitch black, and then you hear growling, and then you die. And this game is merciless when you die. You 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 die, you die. So, yeah. I'm not I'm not too happy about any silliness of that happening. So we're going to have the lamp, and we're going to go down, and we're going to hear some talking from our lamp. And we'll hear what his name is. The underground, much better. I'm Dalbaz, Dalbaz of Girth. They call me the Dungeon Master. Well, they used to, before I got stuck in this lantern. The job doesn't mean much nowadays, but I was a big deal about a hundred years ago. Then magic is banished, and Yannick, the Grand Inquisitor, sprays me with Froba's electric wizard repellent. Suddenly, I'm torn from my body, floating helplessly, and I end up trapped in this piece of junk. Which brings me to you. What's your name? Colloquial Captain. Okay. 
I'll just call you ageless, faceless, gender-neutral, culturally ambiguous adventure person. Afghan cop, for short. That works. Anyway, you gotta help me. Standard stuff, really. Save the Empire, return magic to the land, a little revenge, if time permits. I'm a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I know just the person who could help us out. The Enchantress, Yigail. She's a bit flaky, but she's one heck of a spellcaster. And she always gives you free stuff when you talk to her. Let's ring her, shall we? I love free stuff. And now I'm called Afghan Corp. No longer... The local captain. I am Yigail, lost Enchantress of the Empire. I come to you from the ethereal plains of Archery. Sure. Oh, um, I gotta get that. Do you mind? All right, let me get right to the point. This call's not cheap. Really now? <laughs> the good news is there are three magic relics. <sighs> relics strong enough to bring magic back to the Empire. The bad news is they are lost or destroyed or something because, hello, no magic. Zip it! <laughs> Take this spell book adventure. Ooh, free stuff. There is much magic hidden in the underground. If only you know how to look. Seriously. What did I tell you? A spell book. Let me give you a quick rundown. There are three types of magic spells. High magic is creation. Middle magic is enlightenment. Deep magic is transmutation. You pick up spells as you go along, and you write them into your spell book. We'll probably run across a few of each down here. There are spell scrolls stashed all over the underground. I just can't remember where. You're a terrible wizard. But we got free stuff. And I am called Afghan Cop. And we just had a, what, collect call from a, from a, I don't even know what she would be. She's like a spirit or something. Or she's a goddess of some that sort. appears to be your average everyday subway token. Naturally, it's lying in a bucket at the bottom of a well. Hey! In continuity. Uh. It's our very first inventory item together. I wish I had a camera. You don't, but I do. <laughs> so we got we got to get the subway token, then we can go down these stairs and everything. And uh, right now, I think that's going to be one episode since I spent enough time getting through this whole darn junk of a place. But uh, next time on this episode, we shall go down these stairs. And I love these stairs because they scare me. When I was a small child, they absolutely scared the shit out of me. And you'll see why in the next video. All right, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.